this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video I'm going to be joined by a creeper, I'm going to be joined by a skeleton, I'm going to be joined by a chicken called Esther, and a bear called Lee, who is... I can see your gamer tag, Lee, why are you... why are you up there in the tunnel? Up in the tower, sorry. Okay, looks like looks like Lee's gone for a little bit of a wander. Let's let's go find out what he's up to then. Hopefully he's not misbehaving again. Oh god, there's all the snow up here still. We need to we need to clean this up. <laughs> if nothing else, he's pointed out to me that my house is still messy. And I I never go up here to the top of the the, the tower, so I guess it's a a nice excuse to go and have a a little look over my lovely world from the the skies. And hi Lee, hello. Oh, there's a, a broken block here. Oh, okay. He's he's on a boat holding some milk and looking over the world. Are you feeling okay, Leah? Are, are you sure you're feeling all right? Um, you're acting a little bit strange. That, that's a little bit of an odd thing to do. Do you have my breakfast? Oh, he's there drinking the milk. I can hear him drinking the milk. Okay, tell you what, Lee. I'm going to be downstairs in my bedroom, okay? And I'm going to be playing the egg game. If you feel up to it and you want to join me, do you want to come join me? All right, first you want to throw me my breakfast. If you just drop the cake now, I should be able to catch it. And <laughs> there we go. I managed to get my breakfast at least. I'll leave, I'll leave you to it there, Lee. I'll leave, you, I'll, leave, I'll leave you to it. You can stay up the top up there. That was that was a bit weird. I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about Lee. I think I think maybe I've been working him a little bit too hard. I think maybe I should I should give him a, a bit of a holiday. Anyway, let's go eat my cake. Nom, 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 nom. And uh, let's go play the the egg game then, shall we? I don't actually, I don't actually. Oh, hello, Lee! <laughs> you got down here even quicker than I did. I was just about to say I don't actually have any eggs on me. So, uh, Esther, would you mind, would you mind laying me, laying me a little egg quickly, please? Go on, just while I'm here, just one little egg, just plop it out, and then I can use it for the the egg game. No, nope. I'm going to give you one chance. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to stay here, Esther. I'm going to count to three. Then I want you to pop out an egg. Okay? One, two, three. Egg! Oh well, if you're gonna be like that, I got a very stubborn chicken. I got an idea, right? If I go over here and I just stare in the distance, I'm gonna pretend I'm not noticing uh, where Esther is, and then. Rah! Boo! Oh! There we go! It worked! <laughs> I managed to scare an egg out of Esther! Thank you very much, Esther. Anyway, let's go play the game. And oh! Hello, Spring! What are you doing over here? Did you just spring up on the balcony? Okay, you can come join us for the video then. I guess you've chosen yourself. <laughs> and let's play the egg game. If you don't know what this is, basically we throw an egg at one of the paintings and uh, we need to try and knock it off. And do you want to go first, Lee? Do you want to go grab an egg? I think he had one on him anyway. And uh, yeah, he basically needs to go and try knock. Oh, there we go. Esther just laid another one as well. Yeah, so he basically needs to go and try and knock off uh, one of the, the paintings. He's going for the theatre, I believe. He's lining it up, getting good head high, and nailed it! Nicely done, Lee. Very nicely done. Right, I want to get one as well now then. Seeing as Lee got one, all right, I'm going to go for an easy one. Uh, then that way it's less likely for me to miss it. You stay there, Spring. Don't spring in front of me. All right, let me go and try and line it up quite high, I think. Probably about there and front. Oh, got it! There we go! A hundred percent success right here, and I got a spare egg. I'm gonna put that in my pocket, and I can use that one tomorrow then, I guess. And it's actually nice seeing spring, because if you remember in my last video, a lot of my dogs went for a wander, and I keep just finding them around my world. Some of them have gone back to my doghouse. I don't know. I think I think my dogs are gradually taking over my world and taking control. <laughs> anyway, let's add someone to the love garden, and today... I am adding Nettie, and Nettie, as some of you may know, uh, is actually my sister. And uh, I'm doing a, uh, a video series at the moment called The Sister Challenge, and uh, she was very nice and decided uh, to join me in it. And so I wanted to say thank you very much for that, Nettie, and welcome to my love garden. Uh, garden, I said that really weird. <laughs> and she's actually planning, by the way, to make her own videos. Uh, so I'm going to leave a, a link in the description to her channel. Uh, if you wanted to see my sister doing some Minecraft videos, uh, yeah, you can definitely go and check it out. Anyway, uh, you may be wondering why I came up here, because... To be honest, I've never come up here. <laughs> and that's because I have a shopping list. We're going to be making some medicine uh, over at the, the hospital. And uh, there's a whole lot of things I need. So I need some spider eyes. And so I'm going to go and take uh, a few spider eyes. Uh, I need some sugar, which is right here. 
And uh, I also need some mushrooms, uh, which are right here. I just take the, the brown mushrooms because they're the uglier ones. Now, I need melon. Now, I don't actually have any melon on me, so I'm going to get some from the, the melon moments place. But I need a ghast here. Let me go grab a ghast here as well and get a few of them. Uh, I also need some never warts, as you pretty much need for any potion. And I got a load here. And also some gunpowder as well, actually, while I'm here. Because uh, gunpowder can turn potions into splash potions. So here we go. Uh, I've done my, my weekly shop uh, for all of the, the different things I need. And did you hear an arrow then? I'm sure I heard someone firing an arrow. Arrow, how peculiar. Hmm, let me let me go and investigate that. Hopefully, hopefully Lee's okay wherever he is. <laughs> and I should probably explain uh, what it is we're doing in this video. We're going to start off uh, by doing the, the final few finishing touches uh, on the Caring Cat Clinic, uh, which is the, the hospital which I've been building. And uh, then we're going to go and play a new minigame uh, to decide who the uh, the doctor of the month <laughs> at the, the hospital is going to be. And here's the minigame here. And I'm going to get you uh, a very quick glimpse of it by jumping up here on Googly's Island. And yeah, it's a bit dangerous. That's all cactuses. And in that pit there, you probably can't see, but it's full of lava. And I'm going to explain what the, the game is uh, a little bit later on in the video. Uh, we can go check it out it's called the the manic medicine mania mini game which we're going to go and play later on uh, but for now spring do you want to sit down here so you stay safe and uh, let's go inside and do the uh, the final few finishing touches so the first thing i want to do uh, is sort out this room uh, rather than having a, an ugly wooden door I want to fill all of this in here with glass and I'm going to use some um, some sticky pistons uh, to make some automatic doors that are going to open and close and uh, this way we can trap the zombies in. And if you don't know what this place is, by the way, uh, basically if you get a zombie villager and you can actually heal them, if you give them a weakness potion and uh, then a... Um uh, then give them a golden apple, uh, you can actually heal them. And uh, so this is going to be a room which is designed to do just that. So we basically need uh, a good way to trap them in, which is what I'm doing here. So uh, if I go and put down some glass there, and I then just need to, to link up some redstone uh, so you can go and set them both off. So let me just destroy a little bit of the, the floor now. And <laughs> by a little bit of the floor, I mean quite a lot of the floor. And so I can easily see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to go and grab the, the, the green wall again in a second. So if I go and do that, then I'm going to go and build my way up here somehow. If I go and place that down there, it's hard. I'm sliding all over the ice. It's hard to, to jump up. I'm going to get rid of this block here as well. And if I go and build along here, I'm going to basically do redstone leading to a lever, which is just going to be in the corner of the room down here. So it's going to be super, super simple redstone, which is good because <laughs> I can't really do many other types of redstone other than very simple redstone. And oh, no, drop my repeater. Butterfingers. Right there, guy grabbed it. So if I do a repeater there and a repeater there, and then just do one very simple trail of redstone uh, which is going to lead all the way over to the corner uh, then hopefully uh, the redstone's going to be work. I don't want to get too close to the button though so I don't want all the the redstone to get confused and start overlapping and so let me just go and build this along here and like that and then like that then if I do all of the redstone that should be it I when I told you it was simple redstone I really did mean it so let me just go and grab the the pieces of carpet which I dropped all the way around here and so I can go and fill in all of the the floor again and so there we go I got 10 pieces that should be enough then if I hop my way back up uh, that should be it complete the only other thing I need to do is of course uh, put down the the lever and <laughs> Lee you're not supposed to go in there that that's a place for zombies right let me just go and try and find a way to to get up uh, if I just use some dirt blocks and uh, there's not really anywhere to pile up. Oh, here we go. I can just jump straight up here. And oh no, I did the redstone in the wrong place, actually. The redstone needs to be one block to the side of where it is. There we go. I put the redstone there and then go and fill in all of the floor. Hopefully, uh, this is going to work. So let me go uh, out here and let me go and try and make a lever. And then if I put that in the, the corner of the room, uh, it should hopefully uh, set up the redstone. Actually, while I'm here, I might start some potions brewing. So I want to make some healing potions uh, as some medicine. And so to make uh, almost any potion, uh, you need to start off by making awkward potions. And so I got my glass. I'm going to make myself some, some glass bottles. I'm going to go and fill them up from uh, inside of here. And then I'm going to go and put them uh, inside of the the brewing stand. I might just make one of these, I think, actually. No, let's make three of them. And so you put never wart in first, and that is going to turn all of the bottles of water uh, into awkward potions. And then I'll come back a little bit later on, and I'll show you what you do next. But look, look how many things I'm doing at the same time here. <laughs> let's go back in here and put down the lever. 
And there we go. So you can see that opens and closes. So we're going to get the zombie trapped in here and then we're going to run back out and shut them inside so they can't escape. Jolly good. And then the last thing we need to do uh, is to put a, a golden apple uh, in the corner as well. So if I make a chest, I can go and fill it full of uh, golden apples. Uh, I don't actually have any apples on me. I think Lee might have some on. He keeps trying to make me eat apples at the moment. So <laughs> uh, hopefully Lee's going. Yeah, have you got some, some spare apples you can give me? And I'm going to turn these into golden apples and then we can fill them uh, in, uh, full of the, the chest in there. So uh, let me go and make myself some gold uh, nuggets uh, which are over here and then I'm going to be able to make myself uh, a whole load of uh, golden apples and so I'm going to go and put all of these in the chest so we can use these to, to heal the zombies and speaking of healing uh, there we go we got some awkward potions so now uh, let's let's make a potion of regeneration so if I put a gas tier in it should make that and good idea Lee good idea I have not put my lab coat on over here hanging up on my coat hook uh, is my lab coat seeing as I am doing some some sciencey things I should be I should be wearing my my lab coat <laughs> it's all about health and safety you see and so let's go put the the golden apples inside of here and then this should be the the zombie room uh, completely finished the not all bad zombie lab is there completely finished <laughs> and uh, let's go and see how my potions are doing so there we go I got three potions of regeneration let me just go and put them inside the chest here and then over here I'm just going to put uh, all of the the other ingredients that I don't really need inside of here oh actually something that I do need to do is I need to make my my potions of weakness I've not done that yet and to do that I need to make a fermented spider eye and to do that you need a normal spider eye a mushroom and sugar I believe and so I'm gonna need to make myself some some more bottles of water and uh, so I need to get some bottles there. I've actually run out of water. So I'm going to very quickly run next door to the pretty kitty and uh, steal some from the, the cozy koozie, my jacuzzi down here. <laughs> a very convenient uh, infinite water source right next door. And I'm going to go and grab that. I'm going to have one little look around the area to see if there are any zombie villagers. I can't see any at hand. They are quite rare. And so we need to make sure whenever we do see one, we're able to to bring them back to the, the hospital over here. I can hear a spider. <laughs> I think that's in the, the pet shop though. I don't think it's a wild spider. Anyway, let's go try and make this then, shall we? So let's put uh, my bottles in there. And let's go and try and make myself a, a fermented spider eye, shall we? And here's one right here. And then I need to go and plonk that in the top. And that should hopefully uh, make me three awkward potions. So let's go and put uh, all the rest of my ingredients in there. And I also need actually to grab some gunpowder. Because uh, if you add gunpowder to a potion, it turns it into a splash potion. Uh, which is going to be exactly what we need. So it will uh, fire out of the dispenser. So uh, while that's brewing... I'm going to have a little bit of bread. You probably shouldn't eat inside of a medical lab, but <laughs> I was very hungry. I needed to eat. And let's go put the rest of the gunpowder in there. And then this gunpowder. Oh, I put redstone in the top. I think I did that by accident. Oh, a mundane potion. No effects. Oh, did I do it wrong? I, th I think I might have done... Did I not put... I think I put the redstone in rather than the, the, rather than the fermented spider eye. Oh, no. Right. If I put this in now, will that work? Okay, I think I, I think I did this wrong. I'm trying to teach you how to do brewing, and uh, I think I ended up doing it wrong. And what I could actually do while that's brewing is uh, decorate the the final room a little bit more and uh, put some paintings up. This is where the the psychiatrist would sit. So we want lots of uh, bright, happy paintings around the room. Uh, have that one there, and uh, on this wall here, let's try and get a big one, shall we? There we go, a big Donkey Kong potion. And what's going on in here? The sound seems like there's a lot of commotion. <gasps> it's a zombie and a dog stuck inside. Lee. I might have been fooled if it wasn't for the big alpha Lee above your head. Are you are you feeling okay? Are you feeling all right? You keep you keep playing dress up and doing weird things today. I think you might be having a bit of an identity crisis. Come come follow me, Lee. We're all friends here. Come come follow me. Look, you can get, I'm going to shut the door. You can get changed into your normal clothes. I won't look. And uh, while he's getting changed, I'm going to go check on these. And there we go. Potions of weakness. Jolly good. So let me go put the, the gunpowder in. And then let's go check on Lee. Because I'm a little bit worried about him. Do you want to follow me inside here, Lee? Do you want to come into my office and let's have a little chat about you, shall we? And let's find out what's going inside that head of yours. If you have a little lie down there on the chaise lounge, I'm going to sit down here and we can just have a little talk. You're in a you're in a safe place here, Lee. You're in a safe place. You can say whatever you want. So, Lee, how are you feeling today? I see you don't want to talk about your feelings. Hmm, that's very interesting. Why don't you tell me about your childhood? What was your relationship with Mother Bear like? Hmm, I see you don't want to talk about that either. I think I can see what's going on here, Lee. I think I can see why you've been getting so upset today. I think it's because you've not eaten enough cake. Because 
I eat cake every single day and I'm never unhappy, so I think that if you eat more cake, then you're gonna be a happier person. And there we go! <laughs> Dr. Stampy saved the day again. <laughs> I'm always able to prescribe the, uh, the right cure. So if you eat more cake, you're gonna be much happier, I promise. <laughs> anyway, let's go check on my potions. They should be almost done. Here we go. I got three splash potions of weakness. And so if I go back into the, uh, the zombie room, I can go and plonk them into my dispenser. And Larry, you're probably gonna wanna move from there, otherwise you're gonna get splashed right in the face by some of those potions. <laughs> and then yeah, if we do see a, a zombie villager, we can go and trap them inside of there. And so here we go. This is the Caring Cat Clinic 100% completed. Everything that needed to be done has been done. And let me have a quick check in the pet shop just to see. <gasps> Look, we got one. There's a zombie villager, Lee. We managed to get one in here. How lucky is that? Right, we need to be, we need to get him inside before it becomes day. Right, let's just break this open. Let's just break this open. And we need to try and take out the other googlies uh, without him getting hurt. Right, stay back, Lee. Stay back, Lee. I'll do this. I'm going to do this very carefully. And right, I'm going to punch him. So he's going to follow me. But we need to do it before it's day. Otherwise, he's gonna burn. Right, can you see me? Can you see me? Is he gonna chase me? Right, he's chasing me. I don't think he can get out yet. Right, let's go and break away a bit more of the glass. Be very careful not to hit him. We don't want to hurt him. We're trying to cure him. We've got a race against time though, because it's gonna be becoming day very quickly. And oh no, I hope my dog doesn't go after him. That would be bad. Right, we need to try and get him through the door if we can. Is his head gonna fit through? His head just about manages to fit through. And here we go. We might actually be able to heal him. He's almost got inside. Right, okay, and shut the lever. Shut the lever. Shut the lever. There we go. We got him inside. Oh, no. He got back out. He got back out. Right, I need to go back inside. Open it up, Lee. Open up the lever. Open up the lever. No, open it. Open it. Open it. I'm getting hurt. I need a healing potion. I need to go to the medicine bay. I can't get outside. I can't get outside. No, 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 no. Oh, he got me. He got me. Try and get him inside, Lee. I'm going to be back over there in one second. <laughs> I can't believe we managed to get one already. Lee, if you can, try and get him trapped inside. I will be there in just one second. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I can't believe how lucky that was. We just happened to come across one. I mean, it's kind of unlucky that he took me out, but <laughs> it's lucky that we were able to find one in the first place. Right, I'm nearly there, there Lee. I'm nearly there. Just don't let him escape. Do not let him go outside because as soon as it's day, uh, he's going to end up burning. Right, let's go and shut the door behind us. I can hear growling. I think he might be inside. There we go. We managed to get him trapped inside. Okay, Lee, if you come over to this side of the room, uh, hopefully he's going to chase you a little bit. Uh, don't worry, you can give me back my things in a little bit. Hopefully he'll move across. Then if I press the button, there we go, I splashed him. Then if I go and grab the golden apple, I can't believe how much to plan this is going. And if I go and give that to him, hopefully, there we go. You can see the bubbles coming off. You can see that that is curing him. So if we come back here in a little bit, hopefully we're going to have a villager in our world. That is amazing. And I can hear other zombies here banging at the door. <laughs> do you have my sword at all on you, Lee? Do you, have my, do you have my sword on you? That might be one thing to get. Oh, but careful, careful, careful. Let's go take this guy out if we can. Bow and arrow. Oh, I don't even have any arrows. There we go. Pickaxe will do. <laughs> right, before we run out of time then, right, let's go and go and play the, the game over here next door then, shall we? I'm going to put my stampy style boots on and uh, the game's very simple. Basically what we need to do is we need to stand here and oh careful, oh spiders all over the place. Where are they coming from today? <laughs> yeah, so the game's very, very simple. Um, well, let's go try and take him out. Uh, yeah, the game's very simple <laughs> for the third time. We need to brew some healing potions here and then we're going to use the healing potions to be able to get across all of the cacti because uh, otherwise you'll die trying to get across. You then need to make a uh, fire resistance potion so you can swim through the lava. Then when you get here, you make a swiftness potion because uh, there's a very long maze down here that you need to run through okay see told you it's simple <laughs> right so let me go and try and empty out my pockets a little bit and uh, do you have any food on you as well Lee because I don't want to be getting hungry as I'm going through I'm not gonna have any golden apples I think that would be cheating here we go I got some spare food here and then let's begin in three two one go manic medicine mania begin so right luckily I've had some practice brewing a second ago I want to go and make myself some healing potions so if I go put all of the bottles of water in and if I go grab some never warp, I can go and put that in the top. And that's going to make them into awkward potions. And I can either do healing potions or regeneration. I think I'm going to do healing potions this time just to make a bit of a change. And so once the never warp's completely in, I'm going to put that glistening melon in. And that should make some that should make some healing potions. And if I drink them as I'm going across the top, uh, hopefully uh, that is going to keep me alive. And I also uh, need to take all of my armor off because otherwise I'm going to have a, an unfair advantage over Lee. So it's going to be tough. Hopefully... I'm going to just be able to, to make it from, from one side to the other. And uh, let me see how Lee's are going. Oh, I think I'm ever so slightly ahead. I'm ever so slightly in front of Lee. So I, I want to go and try and make the most of my advantage and go straight off. So uh, here we go. Three potions of healing and I can begin. So... 
I need to try and run across the cacti without falling in as quick as I can. And then when I get hurt, I need to have a healing potion, uh, which should hopefully uh, be able to keep me alive. Oh, it only healed me a little bit, though. Oh, no, 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 this is dangerous. This is dangerous. I need to be really quick. Keep having the healing potions. Go, 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 and jump. There we go. I managed to make it across. Oh, no, no, there's a creeper here. There's a creeper right here. And oh, no, it blew up all of the brewing stands. <laughs> right. Okay, we need to make the most of it. I'm going to go and just try and put them back down, although there's going to be no water there. That wasn't good. Oh, it looks like Lee's was fine. Right, I'm going to put the brewing potions down here, Lee. Right, game on. Game on anyway. Lee's has already got his stuff. Right, I need to go and uh, go fill up my bottles again. This is an unfair advantage for Lee, but it doesn't matter. We will continue the game no matter what until one of us gets to the end. Okay, so let's go and put in my uh, potions, and I need to make a fire resistance one. So once again, I need to put in some never wart, I believe. And uh, then you need to put in uh, magma cream after that, I believe. And let me go and throw away some of this stuff. My pockets are full of a load of rubbish. <laughs> and so, yeah, let me go get my magma cream ready. As, as soon as that's filled up, I put that in. And that will, should make a, a fire resistance potion. And then I could either put a redstone or glowstone in to make it better. I think one of them makes it last longer and then the other one makes it stronger. As uh, something uh, along those lines. And I think Lee has been able to overtake me because of that creeper that ruined the game. And oh, yeah, look, he's almost made three of them already. And I'm only making two and he's ahead of me. But we also got time to catch up as we go and try to do the swiftness game at the end. And so he's there drinking them. I'm only just behind him. This is actually a really close game. Now, there we go. I got my fire resistance potions. Let's drink them. And I'm going to go for a running jump and try and catch up with him. I'm so close. I'm so close to him. We move so slowly through the lava, though. I love it, though, because it makes it look like I've got a crazy haircut as I go and walk through. I'm just, just, just behind me. I can't believe how close this is. And then all we need to do is make a swiftness potion and then run through the maze, and then that is going to be the end of the game. Hopefully, uh, I'm okay. Hopefully, I'm not going to run out of fire resistance. I, I don't want to check to see how much time I've got left, because I don't want to waste any time. Lee is already at the chest. All right, let's go, 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 go. So I want to get my bottles of water and my never water out now. Let's go and fill up all of the bottles of water and go and put them in here and put my never wart into the top there we go there they're going to be making them and then i need to add sugar i think it is to do swiftness yeah here we go there's some sugar in here and so once the never wart's gone down uh, i put in the sugar then that's going to make a swiftness potion and then it's one straight dash to the end the finish line uh, which is going to be over there so this is nearly finished the second it's done i'm going to go and put in the sugar and start making my swiftness potions there we go i am already making my swiftness potions i think i've made up good time here let's go and see how lee's doing Lee is still ever so slightly ahead. Actually, no, I think I'm ahead. You know what? I think we're completely neck on neck. I think we got the exact same amount of progress done. So it's all going to be whoever's the first person to drink the potion and run their way to the end. And it is done. I got my potions of swiftness. Drink, 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 drink. And go. He's drinking at the same time. We got the exact same timing. He's just behind me. Right. If I run and jump, then I should be able to run even, even quicker. But this maze is massive. There is so many turns. Oh, no, no. He overtook me. Lee managed to overtake me. Right. I need to overtake him back. We are completely neck and neck. Got to get around the corner. How did he overtake me so fast? I'm overtaking him now, though. I'm getting that we are literally completely level we keep just overtaking each other i can't see where i'm going i keep running into the back of his head oh no no he managed to take over he managed to get way ahead and oh no i'm running into the wall i'm panicking now i'm panicking go 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 i've still got a chance to take him over but i need to do this perfect now there we go he stopped running for a second he stopped running for a second i got a good chance to take him over there we go there we go i managed to take him over and i'm back outside i've not won yet though i need to get across the finish line we're exactly level though we are exactly level he is just behind me i can't believe how close it is ah and across the finish line! <laughs> I can't believe that! I can't believe how close it ended up being. I think I won by about a quarter of a second there. That was amazing. GG Lee, GG, good game. <laughs> oh, dude, that was fantastic. Anyway, I almost forgot our zombie friend. Let's see if he's been turned into a. Wait, what? Um, hello? Hello? No, he disappeared. Is there anyone in there? Has he turned invisible? Any villagers in here? I think we went too far away and the zombie disappeared before he had a, had, had a chance to turn. I don't think he's going to be down there, Lee. I don't think he would have escaped that well. I can't believe that. I got so excited that we found one. Okay, next time, next time we find one, we're going to trap one in there. We're going to try and heal him. And then we're just going to sit here and watch him until he turns into a villager. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I think we did get a bit too lucky by finding one this fast anyway. So next time we find one, uh, we're going to make sure we trap him. And we're going to make sure we watch him uh, until he turns into a villager. Anyway, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And we will see you all later.